Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. It's always nice to sew with you. Today I took some six and a half inch squares and I put a quilt together. It is a no stress quilt. Things do not need to match. Once you make these cross squares, you just put it together with the other six and a half inch squares. If you wanna use a uh, pre-cut charm pack, I think they're five inches. You could use five inch squares and I'll talk about how you can put it all together after that. Sometimes you just need to sew a no stress quilt and this is it. So let's get started. I'm using six and a half inch squares because I do have a nice stack of them in my sewing room and I chose a variety of browns and oranges, fall colors. My strips here are one and a half inch wide and three and a quarter inch long. I need two of those and I need one that is one and a half by seven inches. These little uh, muslin strips will be the cross bars in my block. And I'm going to cut my squares three and a quarter inches twice. So I'll have four little squares that are three and a quarter inch. Here I'm adding my three and a quarter inch strips and then after making a nice stack of cross blocks I will press and then I will trim them all to six and a half inches. If you are using a charm pack with five inch squares you could do just do the exact same thing I'm doing here. These little strips add a half an inch so you will end your cross blocks will end up being five and a half inches and you'll just need to trim your cross blocks to five inches to match your five inch squares so if you were to buy a charm pack you would use half for the cross blocks and half for your alternate block if you are using five inch squares you'll want to cut your five inch squares into two and a half inch pieces and using whatever size square you have just cut it into quarters cut it twice and you can use any size use what you have that's my motto <laughs> I have a square ruler that I've marked with tape at my six and a half inch mark so that it's easier for me to see. And I also made a little dot with a pen at the three and a quarter inch center of my square so that I can kind of eyeball that square, that center. The nice thing about this block is it does not need to be perfect. You do not need to perfectly center the ruler. The seams on the cross pieces there are not going to be lined up with any, anything else. So they can be wherever you want. In fact, you could even put it on a little angle if you wanted, as long as your square is six and a half because you're going to be alternating it with the six and a half inch squares I will be alternating it with the six and a half inch squares that I have in my stack now I used all darker browns and oranges uh, even some blacks I used the darker squares with the crosses and then I tried to choose some lighter squares for the alternate plain block
after I got my cross blocks ready, I just alternated them with that plain square and my quilt is seven by eight, six and a half inch squares. So I sewed rows together. I sewed um, seven in each row and then I put eight rows together. I really love this simple pattern. The Really the only thing that you need to match are those seams when you go to sew your rows together. And that was really simple to do. Just put a pin at the seam there and if all of my squares are six and a half inches, it should go together really easily. I think you'll agree this is turning out to be such a beautiful, warm looking quilt. I'm really happy with the way all these leftover squares are coming together. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.